ago I went to Sephora and I purchased some stuff and I thought I haven't done a haul in a while because I've been on Project Low Buy for about five months which is basically where you don't buy beauty products except when you completely run out of a certain product and you need to repurchase it but as far as like going to a store and getting a haul I haven't been doing any so I actually was really excited because I haven't done one in a while and I had my 15% off VIB discount so that's like why I let myself do it I was like okay you have your discount they only do this twice a year you can go and pick some things up so I was like super excited I don't think I've gotten this excited over a haul since like I don't know a while because I just feel like when you purchase beauty products often you start to like lose I mean it's still always exciting obviously but it's not quite as exciting as it is when you kind of don't let yourself buy it for a while and then you go. The first thing is actually something that I've been wanting to try for a long time and for a couple of months I've seen so many different beauty gurus talk about this and I just wanted to try it for myself. So it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I got it in the color Dim Light. Pinecone, I hear you being bad in the bathroom. Now there's six colors of this and I actually love it and I kind of want to get it in a few more colors but I only let myself get one and it's basically a super fine milled powder that you use as your setting powder instead of using another powder and I'm running out of my Chanel um, my Chanel powder that I've been using on my face. I just have a little bit left. I've hit pan and it's about to crack. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to try a new powder. And this one gives you a really iridescent glow. Um, they have six different ones. They're all for different skin types. I know they had one. I hear you. There was one that was more pink toned. There was one that was more yellow toned. And there was one that was like a candlelit finish. And this one I think is the soft focus one, if I'm not getting them confused. But I swatched them all on my skin and this is definitely the one that blended the best to look super natural on my skin. The next thing I got is an Illamasqua blush and I actually wanted a cream blush from Illamasqua. I had a certain one that I wanted, I think it was Saab, or there were a couple that I was looking at that I wanted to swatch in the store. I really wanna try the Illamasqua cream blushes, but they didn't have any that I liked. Um, I think they only had a couple, none of the ones that were on my list that I wanted to swatch. So I looked at their powder blushes and I picked up Katie which is a super, super gorgeous, like baby doll pink. It's super light, as you can see, but it's very pigmented, and I like that because Well Dressed from MAC is one of my favorites, but this one's more pigmented than Well Dressed. Well Dressed is very sheer, and you can build it up, but I just think that the quality of this is super, super nice. Then I got the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. I got a little one because I wanted to try this because I have read in so many magazines that this is like the best argan oil you can buy for your face and your hair, and I just heard such good reviews. But this I'm going to try on my face because that's where I've read that it's like super good. I got two Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundations. This is my everyday go-to. I got them in two colors. Rose Ivory is like my everyday color. I'm wearing it today. I've worn this for years and years. I keep going back to it when I try other foundations. And then I got Beige Ivory, which is one shade darker because in the summer I tend to mix these or sometimes if I get really tan, AKA if I fake tan, because I don't really get that tan, I use Beige Ivory. So it was on discount and I thought, I'm not going to open it until the summer so it won't go bad, but I thought I would go ahead and stock up on these. Then I got two of the, um, oh my god, Pinecone. Pinecone, are you breaking things in the bathroom? He is such a bad cat, I swear. Um, I got two of the Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balms. This is my favorite lip balm of all time. This is like one of my top it might be actually like my favorite beauty product of everything. And the second one I got from my mom. I know she mentioned back in February, she was like, I really want one of those Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balms. So I kept it in my mind as a Mother's Day gift. So I got her one. I picked up the Cream Apricot, which is a fortifying cream for nails. It looks the same, it's in the same packaging. And because I liked the lip balm so much, I thought I'm just gonna try the nail treatment. Um, plus my nails have been kind of more brittle lately. I have no idea why, but they've been like peeling lately. And that's not like my nails. I normally have super strong, like I always joke to Blair, I'm like all of my nutrients go to my nails because my hair doesn't grow very fast. And it's, I don't know, not like the best quality. I also use heat on it, but I just feel like I've always had super good, strong nails. So, oh, it's sealed. So this is like a bright orange and it's 
from what I could tell in the sample, it's a little bit more of like a gel cream as opposed to a lotion consistency, but I don't know, I wanted to try it and I liked what I tried from the sample in the store, so I'm not gonna open that till I get over to my new place. The next thing I got is something that I've been wanting to get for a while and I just feel like they're a little bit overpriced, so I just haven't gotten it and I thought with the discount I would get it. And it is the pink double tweezer tweezerman set. So it just has two of the different sizes, like one for regular and one for like the little teeny tiny ones. I actually don't have a pair of good tweezers. I always use Blair's and now that we're not going to be living together, I don't want to have to run over to her condo every time I want to tweeze my eyebrows. So I thought it was just good timing to go ahead and pick that up. Last product, I got a bright turquoise eyeliner from the Sephora collection. This is the Flashy Liner Waterproof and it is a gorgeous turquoise. I actually just purged all of my makeup collection and got rid of a lot of stuff that I just felt like had dried out or gotten old. I don't want to take anything to the new condo that's not completely something that I'm going to use. So I got rid of a lot of my blue turquoisey eyeliners and I thought I would treat myself to a new one. And this is only $8, so plus with the discount, it wasn't very much because it's the Sephora brand, but it was beautiful and it swatched beautifully on my hand and it was prettier, I thought, than one of the ones that I swatched from the Makeup Forever 24-7 liners. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's really creamy. And then I got two little, um, like 100 point perks. I got the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream and I thought this was great because I've actually owned this in full size before and it's a great eye cream. And eye cream is something that's really hard to travel with because it's it comes in like heavy pots, you know, like heavy jars. So I thought a little sample size of a good quality eye cream that I've used before and I really like would be great for traveling. And then the last thing, so that was 100 points and then this was 100 points, the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray. Again, it's travel size, it's non-aerosol, so be good for traveling, and thickening is good. I don't know, thickening hairspray sounded good to me, so I wanted to try it, and they were free. Um, they just took some of my points. I don't think I overdid it, so I'm proud of myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it's been a little while since I've done a haul, but this was really fun to buy and then film, so I will see you guys later with my next video. Bye. Hi, what you doing, baby?